so at this point we're pretty much just learning as we go along now we just have to do three more rows and hopefully as we do them we'll figure out a better way to do them because it's not very easy right now actually decided that we don't actually have any use for this sod so what i'm gonna do is it comes with this shitty ass plastic in here so just peeling this out the bottom trying to make sure not to leave any of it I'm gonna peel this out and then sift it and then we can put all the dirt back and then we're gonna be composting all the grass So, last night, we got the tilling all done. We were just gonna, just one last till before we never touch it again, just to get the microorganisms down. But we're picking up the dirt, and then we have, we bought some compost, so we're gonna mix in the compost with the dirt, and then put it back, and have a little mound, and yeah. So we raked it all, put all the compost, put it down, and then put uh, put uh, cardboard. cardboard, put cardboard down, put cardboard down on top, and uh, just to kind of be like a mulch so that it doesn't dry out and doesn't kill everything. And we wet it all down, and uh, yeah, next we have to pull the little plastic nets out of all these boys. Oh my god, we have a lot of work to do. Now that we have the beds all made and we've dug a big hole here, mounded all the dirt. Now we're just, over, he's over there breaking up the ground on the bottom just so that the roots can try to go a little bit deeper. And yeah, we're just gonna be shoveling this, mixing it together. So, they're all done, filled them up. We will be planting them tomorrow, but that will be in a second for you guys. So, we are harvesting a bunch of this wild grass. I don't know exactly what it is, but like you saw, we harvested all the, all the wild stuff. And then we got a whole bag of, uh, of pine needles from under one of our trees. And then we have a little pile of wood chips um, that we were using for landscaping. Um, so we're gonna use a little bit of those and we're gonna kind of mix together some leaves that we have from around the house and under some of the trees, the pine needles, these, uh, this bag of dry grass. We got right here in the wheelbarrow, the wood chips. And then we have a bunch of leaves that we raked up. Now we're just gonna layer them.
Just one more ingredient. So it's been days and days of work, but we're finally done. Got all the different stuff, the leaves, the pine needles, the grass, and the wood chips. We are finally done. And now we get to plant, yes. Good morning. It's the next day and it's finally time to get to planting. We planned out where everything is gonna go. First, we're just gonna set out the seeds where they're all gonna go. We made little uh, tabs to figure out whatever, or to know where everything is when, before it's all popped up. First, we just kind of have like the structure of how we're gonna plant it. Um, and then in a couple weeks when we're planting, our second round of plants so that we can have staggered harvests. We'll be planting them in between all the different plants as companions. So first, just all kind of separate in its all own little space so that we know how it's all gonna lay out and then it's gonna grow. And then once we figure out how the plants are all growing, we can fill out the, the parts in the middle with all the different companions, yeah. Here we go. Start the day. So we got them all set out. So in the back row, we got most of our beans right here. We got some watermelons in between. So pretty much the way that we have set this up is it is organized by um, category. So most of the leafy greens are right here. Most of this bigger stuff and squash and beans are in the back and more of the mid are in the middle. Um, but that's not completely how we've done it because we also want to be able to have some companion plants. So we have the beans and the watermelon putting these closer together because these are overstory plants. These are understory plants. So we're kind of just getting all of the different ranges. And so the plan with the beans is we're gonna have the poles. And then once they get tall enough, we'll be able to just train them up over to our fruit trees over here so they can go as tall as they want. Uh, herbs mixed in here and there in between everything. And any of the beans that are in this row are bush beans. So we got the tongue of fire bush beans. All of the different things we've gotten, all the different seeds are from a variety of different places. Um, you can see I got some of them from Native Seeds, which is a Native American seed bank, um, which is specifically to promote um, old genetics as well as to help different um, Native communities. So not necessarily just Native American, but other Native communities and their different genetics um, because GMO companies are coming in and taking all of the family praise genetics away. So here we are trying to keep it going. So we got arugula right here, latachino kale, blue curly kale, dragon carrots, red Russian kale, smooth green kale, malokia, rainbow onion, red lettuce, forelanchuslus, for lunch less. <laughs> and then this is just a mix. We put we put tan bark on because they started to fly away. Cilantro, golden acre cabbage, corn salad, pink celery, celery root, holy basil, cucumber, rainbow chard, just chard, Chinese lantern jing calypso, Roman chamomile, Romanesco cauliflower, broccoli but this is some sprouting broccoli. Lemon basil. This is a type of Japanese eggplant. Cream of Sasquatch. Cream of Sasquatch. 
Sasquatch with black garbanzo beans. Heart of gold. Tongue of fire beans. Garbanzo bean. Monday Denise squash. Red curry. With Thai basil. Winter festival acorn squash. Amish snap peas. Normal green bean. Straight neck prolific squash. Spaghetti squash. My favorite. Black eyed peas are falsetti beans. These are my family's heirloom bean. Tiger melon, normal watermelon. I am so excited about these. The beans are honestly my favorites, but cave beans. These are beans that they found in an archeological dig in Mexico. And they found a ceramic pot that was still sealed and it had these beans in it. And they grew them and they grow. So here we are, we have the 1500 year old cave beans. I'm extremely excited about this one. Black tail mountain watermelon. Cherokee trail of tears. So we planted our backyard. Now we're planting our bed. Two heirloom varieties of sweet corn, popcorn. Some tomatoes, mint and mini bell peppers. Ordoño chili peppers. Buena mulata chili peppers. For our potatoes, because here we have some voles and some things that might eat it in the ground, we're gonna be putting them in the pots. And it's also a lot easier for us to harvest. We won't go have to go digging around. We'll just pour them out. And yeah, we got 15 pots for potatoes. Probably gonna be planting more, but this is just the start. We have these Russian banana potatoes. We have these extremely purple Violetta potatoes. The red standard russet potato. These, I believe, are some small Yukon gold potatoes. And I don't know what this is, but this is one that we bought from the store and it started wrinkling and started growing, so we're gonna grow it. It's, it's so nice to finally have this here. I'm just sitting on my chair, taking it all in. Soon it's gonna be all, all planted out and it's actually gonna be all pretty and we'll be able to go and get our food. With that, I hope everybody has a great day. Peace and love. I'll see you on the next one.